hipsters. Now today we're going to be learning about parts of a friendly letter. We're going to learn about the different parts of a letter and then we're going to get some practice writing a letter. All right, hipsters. So let's take a look at the screen. Right here on this teddy bear, it shows the one, two, three, four, five different parts of a letter. Now, when you want to write someone a letter, it can be for a lot of different reasons. It could, it could be to say hello. It could let them know you're thinking of them. It could be because you're so far away that it's hard to call. So instead, you write them a nice letter. There's a lot of reasons why people write letters. All right. But in order to write a letter, we have to know about the different parts. So that's what we're going to talk about first. All right, my friends. So let's look up here at the arrow. Right here it says heading. You always, always start a letter off with a heading. The heading is placed at the top of your letter. It includes the date and sometimes your address if you want to be able to mail the letter. All right, next part is the greeting. Say greeting. Good. So the greeting is like saying hi and it tells who you are writing. You say, like I would say, <clears throat> if I was writing a letter to my friend, Miss Washington, I would start, I would, might start it with saying, hi, Miss Washington, or hello, Miss Washington, or dear Miss Washington. So that's your greeting. All right, and just like the teddy bear here, this part is the body. And then the letter is also called a body. The body is where you write your message. So this is where you say whatever it is that you want to say to the person. All right, two more. The next one is called a closing. Now, the closing is a short expression um, followed by a comma. So it might say sincerely or thank you or talk to you later. And we'll look at a letter right after this. All right. And right after your closing, the last thing you need to have is your signature. Your signature is where you write your name. And this tells your reader who the letter is from. All right, Kipsters, so now I want you guys to be able to see a sample letter. This letter has the one, two, three, four, and five things that we just talked about earlier. All right, so let's take a look at their letter. Here is the heading that we talked about, just like the head of the teddy bear. In your heading, remember, you usually have the date, and some people put their address, but that's only if you're mailing it. So for here, it says February 25th, 2016, so this is the old letter. All right, now the next one is the greeting. Remember, we learned that the greeting is how you say hello. Like if I was writing a letter to my friend, Miss Washington, I might say, dear Miss Washington, or dear, um, I mean, or hello, Miss Washington. Your greeting is how you say hello. So right here, the greeting for this letter says, dear Pam, and notice they put a comma. Now remember this big part with all the words is called the body. The body is the words that you want to say. It's your message. So here, this friend said, Dear Pam, again the greeting, I went to the zoo on Saturday. I saw many animals. It was a lot of fun. Have you ever been to the zoo? All right, so that's just the body. But a letter is not just done with the body. You need a closing and a signature. Now remember, there's lots of different ways you can close a letter out. You can say, like this friend said, your friend. You can also say thank you or sincerely. There are lots of different words you can choose. But here, this writer chose your friend. They put a little comma, and then they put their signature, which is your name. Your signature is your, your name. Good. They put Bill. Of course, if I was writing this letter, I would write Miss Garth. Now, all of these parts to our letter are super, super important. Now, let's practice. Hi, Kimsters. Okay, so now we're going to practice writing a letter. Now, remember, I have to have the five different parts that a letter must have. We learned that we needed a heading, a greeting, the body, a closing, and a signature. And I'm going to do those five things here on my paper. Now, today, we're all going to practice writing letters. So you are going to need your paper and pencil or marker to help you with today's letter. It's going to take a lot of words, so make sure that you're trying your best to sound out um, words correctly and you're writing all of your sight words that you already know how to spell. All right, Kipsters, so today everybody's going to write a letter um, to a friend about the best thing they have done 
um, since school has closed because we've had to find a lot of reasons or a lot of ways to stay entertained. And so we haven't seen our friends at school. So think of one friend at school that you might want to write a letter to that you can tell them about the awesome time you've been having or just something cool that you've done at home. Okay. So I'm going to write a letter to my friend, Ms. Washington, who works in the classroom in North Park with me. Of course, I miss my friend, so I haven't been able to tell her and share with her like I do every day. So I'm going to write her a letter. Now remember, first, we need to have the heading. The heading has the date. So I need to put today's date as my heading. So today's date is May 26, 2020. So I'm going to write that right here at the top. May... Remember, um, months of the year always get a capital letter. May 26, comma, 2020. All right, so that's my heading. Now, now I need to have my greeting. Remember, the greeting is how you say hello. So I'm going to say, dear. Dear is just one way you can start a letter. Remember, you could say hi or hello as well. So, dear Miss Washington. And then I put a comma. All right. I'm going to switch colors because I wanted to show the difference between our greeting, heading, and our body. Now, the body, remember, is where you put your message. is what you want to say to your reader. All right. So remember, friends, that we're going to be telling our reader something fun that we've been doing at, during this time of learning at home instead of at school. All right. So I'm going to say, Dear Ms. Washington, I have tried to keep busy at home. That's my first sentence. Now I'm gonna tell her what I've done. I went for walks. Um, I planted a plant. And rode my bike. Rode my bike. And friends, just like um, in any sentence, if you're ending it, you need to have your punctuation mark. And in this case, I'm going to add a period. I'm just telling her about what I did. All right. So now that I have my body, which is my message, is what I want to say to my reader, I need to have a closing and then my signature. The closing is just like you said hello with the greeting. It's your way of saying goodbye, basically. So I'm going to say your friend, your friend. And then remember, the last thing is our signature. And remember, your signature is your, your name, of course. So I'm going to write in another color, Miss Gardner. And now I have my whole letter, all right? So let's go over it, friends. All right, so first, friends, we have our heading. And that's the date, which I wrote. Then, friends, we wrote the greeting, which is how you say hello. After I wrote my greeting, who remembers what this is called? The b -b body, good, the body. Then I have my k, -k Closing, good job, my closing, closing, and finally at the end I said my name, but what was that special word? A signature, signature, all right friends, so now I have all the parts of my letter, and if I was going to be actually sending this to Ms. Washington, I could fold it up, put it in an envelope, and send it to the post office, and they would make sure it got to her house. So now is your turn. You're going to pretend like you're going to write a letter to a friend from our school at KIPP. Tell them about one fun, or I even said three different things. Tell them about some fun things that you've been doing to fill up your time when you're at home during learning. All right, KIPPsters, happy writing.